Hello everyone. It's a beautiful day today. So we finally got our Volvo tuned. The red Capex Volvo with all the upgrades finally got the you know the the tune done. I went with Hilton tuning. And uh, today I'm going to tell you all about it from the beginning to the end of the tuning process, how it went, what I thought about the tune, um, you know, compare and contrast to Rika that we did and all that. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. And as you guys can see, there is no check engine light. That's right. Hilton actually managed to adjust the, the O2 sensor values where I accepted the current airflow. So I have a catalytic converter from KT4 on the downpipe, but it's really small. It's a performance catalytic converter. It's really light. The KT4 focuses mainly on the weight reduction and the better flow. So the check engine light was tripping with it, uh, without the car being tuned. So I wasn't really sure. Hilton wasn't sure if he was able going to be able to do it, but he actually did it. He adjusted the values on the O2 sensor and he actually got the check engine light off. And for the people that are wondering about the emissions monitors, if you know he adjusted the valves, the check engine lights off, are the emissions monitors going to be readied up? Yes, the emissions monitors, all of them readied up, uh, completed, so they all show complete. It took about two, two and a half days, but they all completed. So yeah, the check engine lights off, all the monitors are complete, everything is running perfectly. One of the things that Hilton did also is adjust the RPM, idle RPM, which is at about 800 right now, compared to the stock one, I believe it was like 580, if I'm not mistaken. So just to get the engine to run a lot, run a lot smoother uh, compared to the OEM one where it kind of was a little bit rough. So uh, he adjusted that as well. And also when I ordered the when I was ordering the Hilton tune, they gave me an option of choosing actually to get the transmission torque limiter removed. Um, I kind of told you talked to Hilton about it first before I actually chose to do it because I wasn't sure you know if it would affect the car drivability and reliability and all that. So I spoke to him. He said that he heard a lot better feedback from customers that actually chose to get it removed because I mean you are tuning the engine you are getting more power you put different upgrades more better upgrades on the car so now the car is going to have more upgrades and more power and if you have the transmission torque limiter there i'm pretty sure it would trip and it would make the car run not as good so i kind of thought about it and i spoke to him and he said he would suggest doing it so i just decided to go with it all right so i'm going to walk you guys how i went through the ordering the tune so i went on google first um typed in Hilton tuning, hint Hilton Volvo tuning, and then there's the first link right here. Click on that, shop now, and then click on Volvo, and then the Volvo tuning right here. And then here you select your year, which mine was 2014, S60, transmission, automatic, and you choose your engine T5, T6, diesel, T3, T2, T or whatever they have all those options too so he can tune those but mine was a t6 cylinder so i chose that and then for the stages so here uh, is where you go on the bottom here and here's the description of each one so i chose the pole start to stage two and then here that's the one i was talking about the aromatic transmission torque limiter delete which is an extra 100 bucks but you know is well worth the money and then the VIN number and all that and then the mods that you have on the car. Alright, so one thing that you will need is a, a Wi-Fi hotspot from your cell phone. So make sure you guys have that because he's going to need it to connect your computer to download all the programs and all that to flash your car for you. So anyway, so you, as you guys can see there's a flasher, there's a logger that he downloaded. The flasher is the one that you flash your car if he sends you the tune file that he wants you to download to the car. That's where you use the flasher. The data logger is this one. It's where you, you like plug in the car and have the car running like from 0 to 60 or third gear pull and you, you log it. So pretty much you record the data that the car performs and then you save it and then you send it over to Hilton. So you can see all here, this is all the tune files right here, all the logs. So literally... I deleted a bunch of them, but I left some of them. Uh, so yeah, I literally sent him like 20 logs that he made like 20 adjustments to get the car running perfectly. 
All right, so at the final subject, if I would recommend the uh, hilt and what I think about it and all that, if I would recommend it over the Rika tune that we did, I would say definitely, 100% I would recommend uh, over the Rika tune. Here is why. With Rika tune, I have the cold, uh, we have the Elevate colder intake. I mean, it's not as separated from the engine, it's not covered, it's just regular short ram intake, as you guys saw in one of my videos. Um, Rika was not able to program my car to run good with that intake. And here's why. There's nothing wrong with my car, because I mean, I heard people say, oh, you have something wrong with your car, you know, my car works great. If you're not a tuner, and if you haven't driven my car, before the intake and after if you don't pay attention to little things you will not notice it the car will work fine it will not have any check engine like due to the intake but it definitely definitely chokes like literally my brother and i we definitely noticed the difference and um rika we went to rika it's like it's choking you know we would install it we would run like zero to 60 times with the intake without it without the intake with the stock in intake box we had way better times like we literally tested it third gear like it was choking it was definitely choking so there was nothing wrong with our car we contacted uh, Rika and they couldn't do anything they couldn't adjust the mass airflow values they, they didn't know what was going on with the car they didn't even take any logging they didn't offer any logging so they couldn't do anything with the car and if in my case if I went with Rika with the downpipe I'm pretty sure he would not be able to even adjust the O2 sensor values I'm not hating on Rika if you just have IPD full exhaust and inner cooler, I would say Rika is definitely way to go. It's cheaper. It's like 400 bucks cheaper. And if you're not planning on doing like a cold air intake or more upgrades like a JV, GFB diverter valve like I did, I would definitely go with Rika. It's cheaper and it's it works great with those upgrades. But besides that, if you're going more, if you're going to cold air intake, GFB diverter valve, maybe a turbo in the future, I would definitely do Hilton. Hilton was able to do a lot to my car, you know, he adjusted the O2 values on my car, the O2 sensor values, where there's no check engine light with the high flow catalytic converter that I have from KT4 uh, downpipe. Uh, also, a uh, cold air intake that I got from Elevate, because, I mean, he saw that there was higher temperatures, uh, that's why the car was choking, he saw where the car was choking, there was higher temperature listed, he's like, that's probably why the car is tripping because of those temperatures because I mean it doesn't the intake that the Elevate made it's not as secure from the temperature from the engine as I would say it should be they could have done a lot better job with the cold air intake but you know that's why it was cho why it was choking uh, so he adjusted the tune uh, he messed with the timing you know he I'm not a you know an expert on tuning but I know a little bit and I learned a lot with, from Hilton you know, he messed with the tuning, uh, timing adjustments and all that to work with the temperatures, with everything. We tried putting back the stock intake and he said that the performance, the air, the amount of air that goes through the intake is a lot better with the Elevate intake. Uh, it's a little bit hotter air, but it's, you know, a lot better performance even with the hotter air than it called, you know, the stock one. So he adjusted my car, he tuned my car perfectly to be, you know, the air and fuel ratios, everything, the timing, you know, he adjusted it to, for the car, you know, to run perfectly. So I'm really pleased with Hilton. All right. So overall, I'm really satisfied with the Hilton, how he tuned my car from the beginning to the end. I learned a lot from him, you know, with the tuning and all that. But one thing I will say is you need to know how a car should run really like how you know it should shift how you know they are when it chokes and when it doesn't when there's delays between gears when there's something wrong with the car you need to tell Hilton I mean he'll look at the logs he'll adjust it but he can't tell how the car is acting you know how it's driving you know when I told him like the reaction to the gas pedal wasn't as great he improved that I told him from you know when he was almost done with tuning I told him you know the when I floor it, the car is not, it doesn't accelerate as good. He, he looked at the logs, he's like, the logs look fine, you know, there's torque and everything's there, but I was like, it's, you know, it doesn't feel right from a spot. It's really slow acceleration from the beginning. So he looked at that, he's like, I'm probably going to have to, you know, adjust the tune where there's better optim turbo spool optimization. So he optimized the turbo spool time. And I will tell you, it really improved. Like the you floor it, it just goes. It's really nice from you know from low RPM all the way to the red line or whatever. 
so it pulls all the way through he adjusted the tune where the car run perfectly like it, it pulls there's power from the beginning to the end so i'm really pleased you know thank you so much hilton you know for tuning my car you know for listening to me <laughs> for being patient you know because i mean every time he flashed the car i would drive it i would try to find flaws in the tune because i really wanted my car to be tuned perfectly i didn't want my car to have issues to have shifting issues to have choking issues all that so i wanted him to tune my car perfectly and um, he took my feedback he looked at the logs he adjusted the tunes accordingly the car is perfect now Thank you so much, Hilton. So if you guys have any serious plans with your uh, Volvo, definitely go check out Hilton. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a in-between video for an update. We're going to a drag strip at the end of this week. We're going to do 0 to 60, 0 to 100 times. We're going to do quarter mile times, eight, one eighth of a mile times. So yeah, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy my videos. Like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date, you know, on more upgrades. We have some more upgrades still coming to, for this car. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a great day.